Hello guys, welcome to another interesting video with your boy SC Ogene. Well, I am sad, I am angry, I am literally disappointed. Not because of anything, but because of Chelsea's current predicament. I would have done this video yesterday, but emotions were really, really high, and I wasn't expecting a win. Anyway, I wasn't expecting a win because I'd already given up on this season. I wasn't expecting a win. But yesterday, if I had done this video, I believe I would have said things that that, that may get my channel banned, and I don't want that. Well, I think going into this is next season, there's so, so much work to do. So much work to do for whatever is going to be the new Chelsea boss. So much work to do from top to bottom. Like so, so much work to do. You see the way Arsenal buried Chelsea yesterday was one of the disgraceful performance I've seen in a long time. In a long, long while. Because I try to ask myself, what kind of tactics is Lampard playing? I don't even know if we're attacking from the left, if we're attacking from the right, if we're attacking from the midfield, if we're just taking the ball from Thiago Silva and shooting it in to, to uh, Aubameyang or whoever was there. It's just like we're playing street football. No clue, no tactics, nothing. Even Fabrica said it. The deed is already done. We already know. Todd Bowley sacking the whole core of the Chelsea Chelsea Foundation, yes. Employing Potter, yes. Bringing Lampard, yes. But at the end of the day, you don't have to be a clueless coach. You don't. What, this, this, this brings me to ask the question, what do they train about? What do they train for every time? You see pictures flying over the internet, seeing them smiling, seeing them training, seeing Lampard with books on his hand. Like, what does he train for? What is Lampard's tactics? Lampard has gone 30 games without a win in the course of his Premiership season. Lampard literally brought Everton to where they are now. And if not for Thomas Tuchel, Chelsea will be in relegation battles. Six wins, six games rather, no wins. Twelve goals conceded, two goals scored. Scrappy goals anyway. Now coming back to the to the to the first to the to the lineup. Coming back to the lineup. We all complained that he was too defensive, but uh, brought out a shitty lineup against Brent Brentford. And now we know the problem sometimes, right? But we don't do it. Tell me what a person like Ryan Sterling, why should Ryan Sterling start ahead of Mudrik in this Chelsea team? What happened to Fofana? Why is he being sidelined? Why is Badiashile being sidelined? Why would Aspiculeta play ahead of Badiashile? Aspiculeta is finished for... Uh, to me, Aspiculeta is finished already. He should just be in... Coming into the team should just be because uh, uh, there's really, really nobody else, no other option. Why should you bench Joao Felix? Okay, fine, you bench Joao Felix. Every player can start, right? But why shouldn't he play that game? Bringing in a ZH that is, has not played for Chelsea for a very long time. He, what did, when, he come, when he came in, what did he do? Nothing. To tell you how clueless Lampard is. Fine. The changes he made brought some light into the game. But hello. It's only just a spark. Mudrik coming in. Made more chances than every other player in that team. I ask myself the same question again. What tactics does Lampard really have? The deed has already been done. Yeah, the, the, the team is already lacking confidence, lacking morale. The players are already down tools. Like, 
to help with the season, it's no longer our business. Now, you've been using a midfield three of Enzo Fernandez, Kovacic, and Kante, pushing Kante more to the wings. Hello, this is not working. Kovacic in the midfield has been one of Chelsea's worst players this season in that midfield. And yet, you keep using him. You leave him in the game. Taking off Enzo Fernandez, you are, you, are, you are looking for a win, you are looking for a goal, you are looking for stability. You are taking off Enzo Fernandez. Like, who does that? The nonsense Chelsea are playing is currently rubbing on Kante. Kante made wrong passes, not once, not twice, not three times. That is a very rare Kante attribute. It's so embarrassing. It is so annoying. We all know that we can't beat Arsenal. With the kind of form, with the kind of ball we play this season, we cannot beat an Arsenal side. See the way Arsenal plays, they switch the ball. From Odegaard goes to either Saka or goes to, 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 to Gabriel Jesus. You all see the movement. But what do we have? Nothing. I think the players just decide to take on the tactics and do whatever they want to do. Let's, the, the, no, nothing, not, it's, it's just so annoying. It is really, really annoying. I don't, I don't think, you, the season is already dead and gone, right? Make use of players who want to be in the team. Sterling can't even make one complete pass, one complete dribble. What is he doing in that team? Some people are shouting, the sack Lampard. And bring in Pochettino immediately. Hello, bringing in Pochettino or any other coach at this moment is just setting the coach up to fail. That is for sure. Now going into next season, I think the team, the squad needs to be trimmed massively, like massive trimming. So many players need to leave the team. Thank God, uh, what's his name? Mr. Mount is not here. They would have put much blame on Mr. Mount. But I tell you, Mr. Mount is Chelsea's best player on his day. It's 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 a it's it's a shitty scenario we are in now. The players have lost confidence in themselves, they've lost confidence in the team, they've lost confidence in the coach. Only a player like Thiago Silva really wants to be in this team. Now let's talk about Kepa. Kepa is just too short. And he doesn't really know. He doesn't really get it when he counts his steps. That's why when they when 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 they when there is an outside shot, it takes it takes the grace of God for Kepa to catch it. Now yesterday yesterday's game, the defense line was all over the place. We just don't know what is going on. Everybody is just playing whatever they like. It's just like we are playing street football. So let them, they should go and play. Please, just let me stop posting pictures of their training because I don't see the impact of the training. No fights, no zeal, nothing. This is not the Chelsea we know. I just hope going into next season, this will change. For the fact we are not going to Europe next season, we should have a better season next season. <sighs> we can only wish, right? We can only wish, but I just hope it is like that. Any new coach coming in has my full support until you start doing until it's time to say goodbye. But please, we do not want a mediocre coach. This brings me to the question, how did Frank Lampard get his coaching badges? Because with what I'm saying, he is 100% clueless. He doesn't have idea. He doesn't have tactics. He should just keep his coaching badges and stick to point three. I am saddened as a Chelsea fan this season. But it is what it is, right? We've seen it all, right? I just hope 
going forward into next season, it is going to change. Anyway, guys, that's just my reaction on this game, Chelsea Arsenal 3 1 defeats. Our next games, are we going to win next games? We don't even know what it feels to win a game. I can't remember the last. I can't remember the last time Chelsea won a game. It's almost two months. We won a game. It's crazy. It's really, really crazy. We can only hope it changes. Well, that's just a few we have now for today. And if it's the first time you're on our channel, please click on that subscribe button, click the bell icon too, to get notified whenever we drop in new videos. And also, do not forget to comment on our comment section uh, tell us how you feel about yesterday's game and uh, we would always always reply back. I remember stay safe out there.